Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another adventure. This is the completely wrong thing I want to talk about. Today, we're going to be going over the Mana Spiral and the requirements for the Trials of the Mighty for Yukata Cassandra. Uh, that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps out the channel a whole bunch. You have no idea how much it helps me. So let's go on and let's talk about Yukata Cassandra. So I think she's a very interesting unit. I When she released, I thought she was super interesting. Um, being a fire healer in a post Halloween Lowen world, do you want to know how good Halloween Lowen is? He doesn't need a mana spiral. He <laughs> even he's somehow so bulletproof he survived Nihility because all he does is heal, <laughs> so he doesn't really need much. And he's a four star, so she was released in a post um, environment, so she kind of is more like of a DPS support. Uh, so let's see what she gets changed here. So she's got skills, Goldfish of the Hereafter, restores HP to all teammates and grants all teammates a shield and the fluorescent fish effect, recover potency 100, skill energy required 7,734, 7, um, skill energy required if it's a shared skill, uh, 17,014, special effects, shield, charges 1, potency 20% of max HP, the for the for the fluorescent fish lasts thirty seconds over over damage fifty percent. Damn, the over damage is fifty percent of strength <laughs> does not stack. Okay, I'm pretty sure the over damage increase. She already had over damage, but I wanted to say it was a little bit lower. You know, it'd be a good way to check over here in the adventure grid. All right, let's look at Yukata's Cassandra. Let's see exactly what they changed here. So Fresh and Fish was for 30 seconds and it was 40%. So now it's still 30 seconds and 50%, it's not bad. Alright, so yeah, it was a 10% increase, but over damage uh, increase is very good. Uh, Ritual of the Soul Cleansing gradually recovers the entire team's HP and grants the user a strength amp. After the amp is granted, this skill will not be used again in 30 seconds. Well, it will not grant it again for 30 seconds. Skill energy required. Wow, it's a lot. 13,188. HP regen lasts 20 seconds, triggers every 2.9 seconds, potency 20, uh, 35. And let's see here what it was previously. Gradually restores the entire team's HP every 2.9 seconds, so they've done a lot to it. And by a lot, I mean they slapped a strength amp on it and called it a day. <laughs> um, but that's good. Strength banks are good. Obviously, if you have someone like so what, fire's in a weird place in terms of the um, the Sinister Dominion, which is basically there's two types of players, those who have Galileanitis and those who do not. As someone who has Galileanitis, I actually have a skewed view of the fight, because to me the fight is extremely easy and pretty fun actually, but for people who don't have Galileanitis, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, so they definitely do need strength amps, because my initial thought was like, does fire really need more strength amps? They do fine without it, but the answer is yeah, there are people who do not have Galileanitis, or do not have the brand new armored Gahiko. Um, so there's plenty of people who could use more support where they can, and this would definitely be a good, a good start to it. Uh, recover potency 20%, that's her co-ability. Chain co-op ability is taking damage. Flame equals strength 13%. If a team member is attuned to flame, increase their strength by 13% for 15 seconds. When they take damage, act activate this ability not activate again for 5 seconds. Okay. Summer Sorceress fills 100% of the skill gauges at the start of the quest and increases strength by 20% when HP is full. She did not have that previously. Yeah, she only had. Wow, that is the biggest buff to a full HP. Holy shit. Wow. I automatically feel angry for anyone else who's had a full HP effect and did not get this level of treatment. Um, that's crazy. They completely changed it to a new type of move. This makes her so much better now. The fill 100% of skill gauges. That's 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 crazy. Opponent stun resistance 100% and skill 2 field equals strength 35%. Fuses the user's strength by 35% while the user's skill... When their second skill is available to use... Hmm... I mean, probably when you're using her, it's much better. I have a fear of the AI just never healing you now. Just because... Not that they'll never heal you, that you'll never get this benefit because the second 
it looks like people are down, they're gonna use the second skill. Um, so, hmm. Probably much better in the hands of someone who knows what they're doing than... I mean, we'll see. So that's her Mana Spiral. I think it's a pretty solid Mana Spiral. It's a little bit more than just slapping Strength Amp and calling it a day. This ability right here, the Summer Sorceress, makes her so much better than she would. This is such an upgrade. This is the, the best upgrade I think a full HP ability has ever had. Let me see if there's any more. Because my, my problem has always been with full HP effects is that when they give it a Mana Spiral, they just make them stronger. So they don't actually change the issue, which is... It's hard to have full HP unless you're in super crazy specific circumstances. Uh, so let me see if there's anyone here who recently got a... Lily got a full HP buff recently. So her full HP went from... See, all they... This is what I was expecting. 15%, 20%. Cassandra went from 20% full HP... 20% strength, but she gets 100% skill. That's a perfectly fine justification. She honestly exactly what she needed. Um, so I think this is a fantastic spiral, honestly. I It's a shame that <laughs> you can't get it right away because it's Trials of the Mighty. And speaking of that, let's actually look at Trials of the Mighty. So we're going to be fighting our boy Mars. Love Mars. He's my one of my favorite fire dragons. Cool design. One of the coolest is, of course, Min. I digress. So let's go on. Let's see what you need here. Water, blade, dagger, staff. Blade, dagger, staff. Water, blade, dagger, staff. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Um, hmm, okay, so in terms of... Let me put it down. Let me put it just blades. In terms of blades, we've got Halloween Akasha and Valerio. Those are the only two water blades. Are you kidding me? Well, to be fair, Valeria is very good, and Halloween Akasha, if she, this specific Mars fight has Nihility, all her moves are safe from Nihility, so you're good. Summer Ranzel, Celiar. Celiar is also pretty good. I remember her Mana Spiral being really weird, but she's still very strong. Or maybe it's just her skill that you get from the um, shared skill is very strong, as I look at it instead of just like saying. I don't know what that this means. Oh, that's right. She had a weird four strike thing where she gives herself, she freezes herself. But either way, there's there's options here. Um, Blade. If you pulled the new Tiki from Fire Emblem Heroes, you're good. If you pulled Mercury, you're good. Mitsuba, you're good. Dragon Yule Cleo, you're good. Renee or some Luther, I think you're pretty good here. And now here's the true staff. I mean, Nurse Eileen recently got a Mana Spiral, and Rick, I think Ricard has one. I don't think, I don't remember if Daniel has one. As we wait for that to load. Jinky's very good, and so is Dragon Yuli Lily, so honestly, you should be fine. He does not have a Mana Spiral? Are you kidding me? No way. That's crazy. Get on that, Dragalia. <laughs> Give this boy. There's only so many options for water healers. He give him one. Um, but yeah, overall, I think this is going to be a pretty normal one. Um, obviously, it's going to depend on whether or not you have some of the five stars for some of the classes. Like for me, I have Humanoid Mercury, I have Tiki, I have Halloween Akasha, and I have Jinky. There's my team. Go. Don't really care. Um, for everyone else, I would probably say some good people to use. I don't really use Summer Ransel. Celiara, I think even with a weird done to her Mana Spiral, I think would still be a pretty solid pick. Um, or some Luther, I just don't know anything about. Renee, I remember being kind of an okay support unit. And if you need an attack unit, I guess it's gonna have to be Orsum. And yeah, and all these healers, as much as I mean uh, water not having many good healers, many healers, they're actually pretty solid. I, I listen to a lot of people's comments, I'm like, okay, you know what? Maybe water isn't the worst, it's just that it doesn't have a lot of options. That's the actual problem here, is that there's not a lot of options. But yeah, I think there's a decent amount of options, but that's what I think. Um, and in terms of, I yeah, again... If this was a regular unit, I really wish that um, they used Trials of the Mighty as 
if you wanted to, when it comes to specifically not galley units, if it came to these, the convictions could be used to get free nodes on the mana spiral. But if you're someone who just can't wait, you can pay the the hard, the harsh price. And if you're someone who's more cautious about waiting, then you can just kind of pay the the regular price, and you're all good. Um, that's the way I kind of see it as they how they should change Trials of the Mighty. And again, if you have any issues with the way they're currently handling the mana spirals for non gala units, send them feedback. They listen. They'll hopefully eventually address it if enough people um, send them feedback. Like, remember, we got them to change Halloween Ellie's mana spiral. So, they totally listen. Even though I think when that mana spiral released, I was like, what's the difference? I think she's better now? <laughs> She's, that was the kind of a situation of like, damn, I don't actually know what they changed on her. But I knew it was bad when I tried to use her and it just wasn't very good. I think she's better now though. Better than she was at the, the Spirals launch. But yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. Hope you liked it. See you guys in the next adventure. Peace out.